Okay, okay. Mm -mm -mm. So let's do this event. I guess it should be all here by now. All unlocked. Oh, it's been a while, I... I made you most that. Alright. Oh yeah, last time, this was just to keep play busy. Well, they were dealing with other stuff they didn't call us for the actual problem come on Fonia come on don't you want to be the first player to ever experience the marvel that is the Doko's boom basket es escapades uh, go on you know you want to an all new combat mode that's more flexible than ever before allowing you to not only achieve pinpoint precise demolition but also outsmart crafty enemies while you're at it how could you how could that not be an absolute blast? How about no. Just because you spend all day fantasizing about bombs doesn't mean the rest of us do too. Heck helping you out by getting the prototype, the tabletop game up and running already counts as some series over time. Uh, all I want to do now is order some takeouts from the Good Hunter, then return to the comfort of my humble abode. By the time it arrives, I'll have just finished the last of the laundry, and it'll, be, and it'll finally be time to kick back and relax. As for this new boom shaka lacking game of yours, uh, well, next time we're on ship together, I may give it a go. If I'm already bored out of my mind, what harm could it do anyway? Did you just say the words new game together in the same sentence? I'm most curious now. Could you take a look? I mean, is, is that you, Honor and Knight, and the Hell in White? You are actually here. What are the chances? I remember now, you are the Boomba Holic. Are you in your. Yeah, I kind of remember. Uh, I don't know who I am, Honor Knight. I must really have left an impression during annihilate the invasive anglers. Even you heard about me? I promise I won't let it down. Recently, I've been making ongoing improvements to the formula and design of my bombs, striving to narrow the gap between me and the Spark Knight, but bit by bit, boom by boom. Anyway, after the previous operation, Emmanuel concluded that relying solely on long distance bomb deployment had considerable tactical shortcomings and wasn't effective enough at dealing with certain types of obstacles in cover. Hmm. You should have worked together with Klee at some point. So she began experimenting with some new equipment. To test it out, we even made some improvements to this Spark Knight's beloved tabletop game. That's right, and in recent days, after analyzing the Spark Knight's combat strategy, I've come up with another way to use the bombs. If we were the Spark Knight, the solution would probably be if a single bomb's worth of explosive isn't enough, use three. If a lone jump dumpty that can solve the issue, throw three. And then yes, increased firepower is a surefire way to solve the problem. But for run of the mill knights like us, that just isn't an option. We simply can't compete with the spark knights, jumpy dummies, and their boom factor. So we focus on improving flexibility and accuracy to make up for the lack of power. Our thinking was that if we could create something that could track targets and get close enough to lay down bombs, we could strike dangerous tra targets with, with pinpoint accuracy and thereby maximize the load. Tracking enemies and laying down bombs? Sounds pretty impressive, but also kind of scary. If I'm over a Hilchur chasing down a force floor with her Hilchur buddies, and suddenly a little thing imagine popped out of nowhere and threw a bomb in our faces, she'd probably be so terrified she'd faint. That actually sounds pretty cool. Can I have one? 
Mm, my hunch was right. You are an explosive enthusiast, just like me. But this new device is still in the early stage of testing. Take some time before it's ready for official production and use. I'll give you everything I've got. Given that conducting experiments in the wild would harm most of the natural ecosystem and how it, this isn't important enough to justify us bothering uh, Captain Albedo, it's, it wasn't worth the trouble of applying for a testing ground. After MFO asked uh, for my advice, we settled on a small scale simulation prototype to test the controls and explosive capabilities. It just so happened that we thought of an old tabletop game that would make the perfect foundation for such testing, so Amato dragged me off to find Lisa, and thank goodness we did. With Lisa's enthusiastic support, advice, and even some help with the storytelling, and the end result is amazing. Turn down, behold, here is the game here on this game table before your very eyes, the much awaited sequel to the dog. Bombastic, bombastic adventure, Dodoko's Bombastic Escapades. After mastering the art of close range demolition, Dodoko and her special jumpy dumpties are back with an explosively volatile visions. Uh, here to follow our commands and obliterate hordes of resurgent enemies. We witness to an epic battle of wits between Dodoko and the Spiky Fish King, and as you do, immerse yourself in intense action and joyous destruction, while helping us record valuable test data for our new device, of course. Oh, so that's the game you've been working on, huh, Yamato? The latest installment of the Dodoko vs Spiky Fish saga. Seems like the Honor Knight and Helper White are Pretty excited about it, Yamato. Their feedback would no doubt prove invaluable. I can tell. If, they, uh, if they'd be willing to spend some of their precious time playing, I'd be eternally grateful. Does that mean we'll be the first to play it? You're not forgetting someone, are you? You are? Yeah, that it's a follow up to the Doku vs. Spiky Fish story, wouldn't the Spark Knight yourself be the most suitable game tester of all? Yeah, but we weren't with her last time we played that, anyway. Well, considering that the Doku features in the new game, that would, of course, be a true honor. But I wanted to make sure that the Doku Bomb Bask Escapades is an incredible experience as possible, with as few flaws as is humanly possible. Such that by the time this Spark Knight gets a chance to play it... Huh, Pamela's got it. You're saying that this time you ha will have multiple roles. Not only we are helping te you test out your new device, but also acting as game testers, making sure that Klee will love it. Sounds right on my street, in the name of Klee, a fun game show. Wonderful, I see we're getting on like... I see we're getting on like an exploding house of fire, wouldn't you agree? Just the thought of watching you guys play gets me so pumped right now. Anyway, let's get the show on the road. Okay, this stage is just include information, stage environment, types of fish, encounter, buffs, uh, carefully check the data, do okay. Shum shum shoes, uh, boom, boom boom bandoliers, and crash clean canisters are three buff types that do can pick up and the boost movement speed, maximum bomb capacity, and explosion error effects. Those are hidden amidst the steady stage seagrass. Additionally, the dog's improved attributes can be viewed in the status bar on the right. The dog will lose vitality when attacked by spiky fish. Ah, did the dog have. No, I think I had to throw the dogos from different sides, the previous one. I don't think I had life. Uh. When attacked by a super fish or when hit by explosion, losing vitality will grant the bright immunity to the damage. Take a blue bandages to restore vitalities. Mm, here is my fish, it's your victory. Uh, let the sparks fly and explosions roll on our night and in helper in white. How are you enjoying Doku's boom basket space? I'd be happy to answer your questions. 
whatever you feel like asking them. Can you tell us more about the story behind the latest episode of Goku's Adventure? Yeah. Absolutely, I'd be delighted to. When Lisa made me responsible for the sequel, she came up with a load of ideas about the plot. The big bad spiky fish king, repelled by the valley in the doko, is slunk back to his lair, tail between his metaphorical legs. The spiky fish vanguard say to him, Your Highness, why don't we gather all the spike fish elders, spike fish guards, and spike fish sweepers and launch an unstoppable counterattack? As for how the story pans out, it's probably best if you experience it yourself. On our night, after all, I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. The tension is building, go go Dodoko. We're rooting for you, Dodoko. Yeah. Ponya. Uh, Grizz are on the night, in the helper in white. I'm not technically on duty right now, but I can't go home yet, thanks to this extracurricular project that Emato has given me. Extracurricular project. Basically, she's worried her record of the experience playing Dodoko's bombastic space might not suffice, so she wanted me to take some extra recordings. Wow, you two really are close, aren't you? The way I see it, this is just a way of banking some credits so Emma might actually feel guilty next time she plays a prank on me. Um, but I was not sure she actually will, but at least it adds another layer to your relationship. I don't know, that was another thing here. Come on, Fonia, light it up. Oh, you think I'm taking it too seriously? People often say that my responses are a bit to by the book, boring even. But I'm just trying to cut down on the circumnication so I can get some peace and quiet. Uh, and you should probably go now. Alright. So. Hey, thanks! Hey, what's up? Uh, okay, I think everything is unlocked. I just need to go order. Okay, let's let's see how this goes. Uh. Ah, okay. So now it's uh Okay, it's bomber now. Does that do anything? No. Ah, okay. I I should spend them. Okay, it just makes me pass. Ah, more complicated there. Excess in you know, totality. I didn't even pay attention to that. Uh, change rewards. Okay, basically just don't. Oh, I can't see the others yet. Okay, but I suppose it would be just to not lose vitality. Ooh, ok. 
Okay, now I need to be careful. I just don't have to lose my vitality, so we're good. Hmm, but this seems like this will go fast. Okay, thinking sideways, so don't go, go. Hang on, my lane. Okay. Uh, then you can sight burn the doko the ability to see buffs or opening hidden within the seagrass. Ah, they're opening hidden. Ah, the spike fish warriors might have no spikes, but they are still pretty characters. When they discover the doko, they will sprint in the doko's direction. Ah, okay. No! Ah. Oh. I didn't blast at all the secrets. Not that I need to, but I was doing that. Mighty Spike Fish Warriors wearing armor of unknown origin, or perhaps simply made for underwater detritus. You can deal damage to them after destroying their armor. If they run into the doko during their patrol, they will deal damage to the doko. Well, but don't the others do as well? I was just assuming they would. Yeah, don't you place a single one there? Ah. Uh. 
Attention. Does that do it? No. I am my worst enemy, not them. After retaining hollow charge, the Docus bombs will be upgraded to self-forged warheads and the ability to penetrate secrets and opponents, dealing damage to all opponents within the explosion artifact. Additionally, self-forged warheads created via the hollow charge upgrade will allow Dotoku to directly penetrate armor and deal damage to armored spiky fish, so I will become a weapon. This spike Fish warriors might have no spikes, but they're still free characters. They are also explosive enthusiasts who will never stop deploying bubble bombs. Uh, bubble bombs will deal damage to the Doko and can ignite bombs that the Doko has placed. Additionally, bubble bombs will not damage spiky fish warriors or seagrass, so they have self immunity. I don't. I think wasn't the boss supposed to be. Ah, okay. I thought the bomb would uh, follow them or something. But now I can touch them. No? They said the Doko could penetrate. Uh, pierce through enemies or something. That's what I got from the text. Alright. 
the last one already. Oh, and this is kind of cool. Better than most events. Uh, cool, uh, but I'm not really needing anything for the channel right now. My Discord is uh, the same as the channel with a dotted yank and yeah. super geek bros dot. Just that. And that was a fast event. Uh, it was getting kind of fun. But it was too, too easy. They make some absurd, difficult cha combat challenge and. Then some so easy. Uh, it's like that the Discord. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, but I barely use it. Uh. Okay, nothing new. I'm not going anywhere, so we're ready. Hmm. Uh, this will work. Okay, let's just see if there's. Just a quick look online if there's any uh, Okay, I don't think there'll be any people for me to talk to around.
no. Nothing here either. Quickly. Okay, that was the thing. Uh, Alright, so... Mm, yeah, my last try for Molani because I'd rather save for Kimmich. Not a Molani. Alright. Yeah, that was pretty quick. But I guess... That was enough for today. But, uh, there could be something more to this event. It was too quick. Yeah. Alright then. So, I'm off.